Hello, welcome to episode 13 of our Ostrov Alpha 3 Let's Play. Looking pretty good so far in our town. It is January of 1733, a fabulous 12 years from the date of the founding of our settlement, coming up at least in March. Uh, last episode, we fixed a little bit of our supply chain problem for the hay. That is a child for the hay. As you can see, we have right there, we've got... I don't think we have any stored down here, but we do have up here, and most importantly for these horses that were gradually dying off. Well, I still haven't replaced these. We still don't have any tack because the tannery workers decided they didn't want to show up for the day they were supposed to finish the batch, and it spoiled. But what can you do? Now, at least I have four guys employed here. We have this uh, godforsaken, wretched smithy, the worst building in the game, and I will die on that hill. Uh, that's good to go. I um, think we can probably stand to build a couple more houses, don't you think? So we need all these trees to be removed. And I don't think we can really do that without building another forestry here, unless we start putting in more houses. Uh, you might notice that the game is no longer stuttering like a word I shouldn't say in a family-friendly gaming video. That's because I did research, and I figured out that the uh, game was not playing nicely with OBS and the uh, video encoding settings. So, I, place is occupied. Is it not letting me... Okay. Yeah, it was uh, locking the GPU's processing power into... I don't know, something I don't really completely understand, but I made it so that the GPU basically gets locked to OBS whenever I start recording. And so far the last third of episode 12 was recorded with that being fixed. And ideally that will fix all of our problems from here on out. We'll just, uh, we'll see. Hopefully the hardware is robust enough to handle it, although I have no reason to believe that it wouldn't be. Okay, we'll put a couple more houses here. We'll do two more. Well, these fences are going to have a real fun time. Why is this not snapping like it should be? Hmm. I am predicting that these are going to be some pretty ugly house boundaries when we come out on the other side of this. Okay, that one, that one snapped fine. That says place is occupied. But why? Okay, get rid of that. Maybe it's weird because of the uh, automatic. Hmm. So I'll tell you what we'll do here is we will just, we'll leave this alone because I don't think they can really start building until all those houses get done. But I think our uh, our forester is going to have some work cut out for him. Anyway, let's go ahead and let them get to work. Mmm, buttery smooth playback. Uh, okay, why was that terminated? Did we not have enough... Um, I wish it would tell you what trade deal was terminated. Because we've got... We've got a dude. Yeah, he's doing his job. Do I have to start having two of these guys? Maybe it's because we ran out of clothes. I don't know. Well, anyway. These guys are going to be real busy going to town here. They've got a bunch of firewood because we don't need more wood because there's... Well, there's none over here. But there's quite a bit in... Yeah, yeah we have over 200,000 wood. I think we'll be okay for a while. Maybe that's just me. Thatch, we're... Uh, Looking pretty good. 69,000 thatch. This is burning. We already established last episode this guy's making lime, so that's good. Uh, hmm. So I guess we need to have the lime go into a warehouse over here. So we can, uh... Yeah, let's, let's put a warehouse here. Right next to the lime kiln. So we'll put that right there. We'll move that to the very front. You're out of money. Okay, well, sucks to suck. 
So go ahead and get this warehouse started. We will let them continue to build, make sure that these guys are in fact not going to... Okay, what do they need? We have bark. Why are you not getting... Or is it because I turned off... They have bark. Then what are they... Oh, 5,000 bark. Okay. Did I turn off... I'm a genius. You know, I'm just... I'm so smart. In my rage with the forestry not supplying firewood last episode, I did not enable them to make bark. Like I said, I'm a genius. Watch enough of my videos, you'll understand. I just do really stupid stuff. Okay, so this warehouse is done. So always got to come in here and check this. And we're going to make this warehouse lime. Uh, we should do charcoal. What else? Uh, stone. No, I can't do stone. Okay, well, lime and charcoal is... Okay, we'll do 100,000 of each, give or take. Um, uncheck higher men. Okay. So at least the lime and the charcoal can get stored here. I can't store quick lime. Oh, I can. Huh. Okay. Uh, can't store water. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we could do firewood here too. That way, all of this can be self-contained with this warehouse, so we don't have to spend a whole lot of time burning. That's a massive improvement. That'll be nice. Very good. And they are in the process of building this house, actually. they I think they have... Uh, okay, they have some of the trees cut. There's still a decent amount left. But all these houses will put us probably around three, uh, 310, maybe 320 population. So it's time to start thinking about, well, we're going to have houses here. So this comes up to here. We're going to need to start building market stalls. We have the granary right here, so we can actually put our market stalls right. Oh, don't start stuttering on me now. I already fixed this. Okay, we'll do right here, right here, right here. Oh, here comes that snow melt. And right there. And you know the drill. We always check this. We are flabbergasted that that hasn't been made a default option yet, but maybe that's just a design choice. Uh, right there, right there. And then we have to choose our weapons. As always, you got beef and milk, chicken meat and chicken egg. Then you got pork sallow let's do buckwheat and potato do clothing shoes firewood and flour this one can be honey and sunflower oil uh we're not going to do dried fish we'll do regular fish and uh, I believe we can put salt. All right, so we can hire all of our women. Right there. Let's fix that again. Now, one, one thing I do wish is that under this higher options, so it says apply to all. I wish the new buildings in the same category would inherit these settings. Because at one point in time, I made all of my uh, higher options for the market stalls just take women, but it, it never seems to inherit it. Anyway, our market's right there. We're going to buy iron, going to buy charcoal. Uh, we're not going to sell any potatoes, but we can purchase. Yes, we, we don't need to buy... Okay, well, we're not going to buy 20 horses. No, no, no. We're going to buy three draft horses. And we'll buy two more female horses. That'll be fine. We don't need to buy cows. We have plenty of cows. Do we have three? No. Okay, that just hasn't been planted yet. Because I was about to say, we're not going to have three. We should barely even have two fallow fields. It just works out this time that those are both fallow. All right, so this first house has been built. Looking good. Looking very nice. Oh, they brought dried fish. I love how the uh, dried fish is a different uh, texture from the regular fish. 
All right, so we can hire uh, four guys here because we have boats now. We should be rapidly progressing here in terms of food. I'm telling you, it's, it's nice not to have to uh, restart recording every 12 minutes so it doesn't lag. I can probably just keep episodes this one file now. Minimal editing. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so our warehouse is, yeah, looking pretty good. This is still, uh, I guess he's just making the lime as it's, uh, as it's being built. Let's check our graveyard. Yeah, we have six available plots. So that's looking fine. Boatyard guy is still doing his thing. Horses still have plenty of feed. These are all still dead. Oh, we have draft horses. We can just go ahead and drag these, and they can start doing their jobs. Very good. And now I think that is once these horses are relocated. Okay, so we have five horses here. I think we need, should still need, no, we have all horses. Okay, great. So now we just actually have horses. So when they die, we can replace them. Very good. These people are out of food because they're out of money. Have some money. Uh, same thing. Have some money. Okay, what was your job where you didn't have... Oh, you've got you've got a bunch of... Oh, because you don't have any kids. Okay. See, dual income, no kids. That's the lifestyle you want right there. Save all your money and buy a bunch of firewood or something. I don't know. All right, another family. This uh, construction is progressing pretty rapidly, so that's good. Granary is slowly building up. Our market seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, got that, got that, got that. Yeah, we're looking good. That is now one, two, three, four, four markets. Now, if we really wanted to, we could probably put a fifth one here. But I don't think we're in a position yet to have supply for that. What we do need to do is we need to put... Uh, okay, I guess we have a well here, but it is uh, not going to last super long. So we're going to need to put another well in. We have house going here. Uh, hmm. We can put a well. Actually, you know what? Let's put two of them back to back right in front of the market right here. We'll do that, flippity floppity. Get off my property. Okay, right there. That'll get built eventually, so let's just move them up here. That'll be a nice little centerpiece right there, kind of. Not really, but hey, I guess it technically counts, so that's fine. We've got that right there. We've got our wagons are going all over the place. Everyone is supplied. We have adequate hay storage, kind of, for right now. We still need more people to uh, get in there and labor. So we'll uh, we'll put that back up to 130%. August, September, gathering materials needs salt. Let me guess, we're out of salt again. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, at this point, I'm just going to have to start sending Dirkachi a messenger, like, every month. Not an, oh, I can't, because I don't have any money. Ooh, that's irritating. All right, well, not enough metal. I swear to God, the smithy is the worst building in the entire game. Jeez, oh, make, make me some metal parts. How are you not, do I have to, do I really have to buy metal parts now? I have how many smithies? I have three, and I can't get any metal parts made. Get three metal parts? Oh, stop making stop making these horseshoes, man! I'll put that down to ten. Put that down to ten. Not like they're ever even going to get to ten. All right, you know what? No, you get to go down to five. All right. I'm, I'm sure there's some mechanic of the smithy or something that I've just completely, fundamentally misunderstand. Oh. Uh, wait, did that just say that infant was buying food? I can't. I don't think that's... Uh, it looked like an infant, like a two-year-old, that said he was buying food. 
not sure I understand if that's uh, that's how that works. But you know what? We're just gonna uh, we're just gonna ignore that. All right. So they are in a tree cutting downing land. Got horses going all over the place. Please, for the love of God, make me some more metal parts. Literally do anything. Okay, you need money. You need money. You still don't have money. Okay, there you go. We're looking pretty good. Look at our ho house. Jeez. Look at our town. Got uh, almost 300 residents here. Still at negative 1,900, but, you know, a couple episodes ago we were at, like, negative 3,000. So I like to think things are improving. Economy. Yeah, yeah, look at this. We're, uh, our numbers aren't looking good on paper, but if you take away the import, then uh, we're actually on track to make about 500 gold a year. Maybe 400-ish. I'll take it. That's not too bad. We just have to uh, export more stuff, which means we have to produce more stuff. How do we have less than a month worth of food? Okay, I need to slaughter you, slaughter you, slaughter you, and then come up here. That's one thing. Someone on, um, I believe it was a comment on City Gamers uh, Let's Play. If you've not seen that, you should check it out. He's got a really, really long, long Let's Play series. A lot of good stuff in there. I, but I was watching one of those, one of the early ones, and they said, that you don't need to hold on to all of your male pigs because they just uh, eat your food. You just need one to reproduce. So we're gonna we're gonna slaughter some of these and just keep the female pigs and one male pig. Um, these people have honey. They want to buy lime. Have we started? Did he really just leave? No. Okay. Game glitched. All right. Let's slow that down. Do we have lime stocked? No. We haven't started stocking lime yet. That's a mistake. Um, do I have any, okay, I have 300 here, I've got 1,500 here, so I guess I could sell them, I could sell them 1,000. Yeah, let's try that. Flour, did we end up stocking flour? Yes, 1,593, so we'll sell 1,500. See, now we'll make we'll be making some money. Can't sell that, can't sell that, can't sell that. I don't need to buy that. Yeah, okay, we're looking good. Very good, and the game is not stuttering. Oh, this is a good day. This is fantastic. As long as these people will make me some metal parts, I don't understand why it's so hard. Please, for the love of God, I need metal parts. Okay, two horseshoes. Do I have to babysit you that hard? Two horseshoes and you can get two horseshoes. Please, I need metal parts. You don't have food because you haven't bought it yet. Now, because you're poor, you've got money. You have zero dollars. Okay, now you're fine. You'll be okay. You're both employed. So I guess all we're doing now at this point is just kind of uh, letting the game run. It seems like we've got most things pretty well under control, at least before something else horrific happens. I think we have uh, successfully... Okay, you're out of food. Is that Okay, that's because you're out of money. That's fine. Have we run out of wheat to grind up? I believe we have. How's our flower stock looking? Zero. Okay, that's not promising. Did we really just put all of our flour into... <laughs> mm, I told you I'm not smart. Oh, God, here we go. Pigs dying of starvation. I just had to say something. Okay. Good Lord. So why are we out of all of the stuff that we use to... Seriously? What happened to all this stuff? Oh, it's not harvest yet. Uh, sunflowers. You can get sunflowers. Why are you not? Oh, this makes me so mad. They've got food. I don't know what it is. This one. Oh, uh, I guess I have to hire more people. 
These pigs are all going to die. All right, bucko. Slaughter me some pigs. I guess these are just all going to die. Unless they're going to bring me some food. Supply some food. Supply some food. Come on. Come on now. No, they're continuing to die. Oh, the four of you. You suck. You're miserable. Supply some food. Your pigs are dying. You know you can, because there's... Oh, there's not a lot, but there are some sunflowers. Okay, slaughter some pigs, my dudes. Okay, they're both slaughtering pigs. Good. All right. All right, you four, you're miserable. You're bad at your job. Give me some food. Ugh. Let's hope this doesn't happen to these pigs. They've got food. These chickens have food. These chickens have food. They've got a bunch of food. Hmm. Well. See, this is what happens every time I talk about how great everything's going. It just goes completely to hell in a handbasket. Mm, messenger, do you have any food? You do not. You just have this, and you want to buy sunflower oil. Well, I can oblige that. I have... All of 300, I can sell you. What what happened to all the rest of it? Okay, 300, okay. Uh, I don't think I can sell you flour, because I think the other guy was uh, buying flour. What's the what's the selling rate for flour, anyway? Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good, honestly. 300. Yeah, that's actually one of the best selling rates in the game. At least, uh that I've been seeing, so looks like we need to increase our wheat output. I don't, uh, oh, now you got food. Ding-dongs. Ugh, what a joke. All right, so we can put one pig there. We just have the one boar? All right, so I'll just put two pigs here. And then we, uh, We'll put a boar in this one as well, and that'll be fine. These cows are looking okay. These cows are looking okay. It's a pretty healthy crop right here. How many oxen do we have? Or how do we need, rather? That's looking fine. That's looking fine. Uh, that either needs repair or the oxes are about to die. I think... We can uh, get rid of that. Is it not letting me? Okay, I guess it is. We'll protect that. Slaughter that. Slaughter that. Slaughter that. And then free up some more space for female cows. Yeah, we don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Guess we can keep you too. That's fine. Oh, see, now all these people are complaining they don't have any food. Well, guess what, buckaroo? You better get on down to the farm and start harvesting. It's the hip new thing to do. In fact, for a limited time only, your labor wage will be dramatically enhanced. So come on down to Mechanical Rat Child Casino or the local farm, you know, either of those would be just fine. Now, you better not move out because you didn't want to go harvest any food now. There's plenty of food. You just got to go get it. You hear me? You know, meanwhile, in uh, forestry land, we've got... These guys are just deforesting this whole area right here. Well, all look at all these whiny babies. Don't want to don't want to go harvest stuff at the farm. Oh, not everyone can be a winner, you know.
Some people just want to complain. Hmm. Well, this farm seems to be doing well. This farm, once again, cannot get anyone to work there. This farm is doing decently well. This farm is already done. Jeez, all right. Well, that was quick. Well, we were looking okay financially until I bumped the pay for the other people. Yeah, we're looking okay now. How did, how did you just move in and you don't have any money? They must be children of existing people then if they moved in that quickly. Uh, that does happen from time to time. Well, they've got some stuff at least. We, we're looking on our wood supply. <laughs> Still have 175,000. I think we're okay. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Harvest this stuff, you know? We got so much stuff to harvest, so little time. Well, th this one's just about done, so they can go uh, labor on up to this one. So you've got a whole one, two, three full fields to harvest, and this one is. This one's getting there, you know? Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing something here at least. Now, why does this one still have the, uh, the pig relocation beacon flashing? That's, uh,. I guess there's still a pig that's having to be relocated. But why is that the case? Are they waiting for this woman to go and relocate a pig? No? Is that just a glitch? Supplying, supplying. None of these show relocating. Okay, so we're going to take this boar and move him here. Okay, now it went away. So we have the boar coming down here, and then we can take all of these, uh, well, except we'll save this, save that guy. We can slaughter that, slaughter all these little tiny boars because they're just gonna take all of our resources for absolutely no gain. Messenger, do you have anything useful? Ooh, honey. Oh, come on, just sell me metal parts, man, come on. Not going to buy any horses, not going to buy any pigs. Uh, iron, I think we should be good. Yeah, we've got 1,500. We're okay. Oh, look at that. We're in beginning of November, 1733. Just shy of 300 population. Looking like a pretty nice town so far. I'm pretty, pretty, yeah. I'm pretty pleased with it. We've got wheat. We've got more wheat. We've lowered our flower output to 2,000. Hopefully that won't completely murder us. I think we should be okay. Who knows, it might be time to add more farms. We've got one here, one here, one here, one here. These people are out of money again. How are you both unemployed? There's so much work to be done. That doesn't make any sense. Look at all these opportunities here. Hmm. We have full, fully employed here. Carpentry. You know what? Just for the hell of it, let's uh, let's just max out all of these production buildings with male employment. So they've got leather. These guys have leather. Shoemaker's Workshop, we don't need to hire a second guy for that, but we can put this all the way up. That's already all. Why are there so many laborers with this smithy? Wow. Okay, that's, um, that should not be happening. Uh, how about you get four laborers, and that's it? Okay, that ought to help a little bit. Still just need the two guys here, that's fine. That's fine. Still can't produce enough metal parts. All right, well, that is what it is. Uh, fishing dock. It is uh, just about time to fire all of our fishermen. In fact, I think I'll do it now. 
So it is uh now time for them not to fish anyway. Okay, very good. There we go, and now we have significantly fewer open positions. And they can all go do something more productive, like get me a whole bunch of wood. I'm going to go ahead and hire a second guy in this wagon shed. I've already got two there. I don't know why the pigs are always such an impossible task. Three there, three there, three there. And we can go up to three on this wagon shed then. That works. Farm. And we can go ahead and hire up to three women here, three women here, three already there, already there. This farm seems to do perfectly fine with just one, for whatever reason that may be. We have three women in that cow shed. This one has two, this one has three. And just for the sake of congruency, we can do three there. Tannery, please just make me some leather. Granary's looking fine. Now people are going to start running out of money. Oh, more people keep dying. Yeah, we are, I guess they're randomly filling this. Okay, someone did go in the church. So we know at least that that's a thing that happens. Wow, I'm not very good at, uh, at straight lines here. Let's, uh, this will be one of the last things we do this episode. Let's fix this fence, because this is bugging the crap out of me. Okay. The big arch. That's not an arch, but that's fine. They can call it whatever they like. Okay, we're going to get rid of that too, because that's just... Mm. I was not paying attention when I made this. Okay, we'll rotate this. Okay, that's about as straight as it's going to get. I think. That's what I told myself the first time. So that's the problem with building some of the stuff on a weird slant. I guess that is straight. Um... That's an improvement. Still not really ideal, I don't think. We can do... Oh, my depth reception is just really messed up. You know, like when you were, uh, when you were a kid and you went around the little merry-go-round thing in the playground at your elementary school too fast and you get off and you feel like you're going to fall over and then simultaneously teleport somewhere? And that's how my inner ear feels like right now. I don't know exactly what that's about. Anyway, let's put this. Can't build on water. Well, it's not water. It's ice right now. That looks much better. I think that is a significant improvement, at least somewhat. Oh, you just walked. What? Oh, come on. I put the fence there for a reason, my dude. All right. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. It's going to be a little longer than 30 minutes, but, uh, We've accomplished quite a bit. Pretty happy with it. And when we come back for 1734, we'll finish building out this entire housing queue and start looking at more industry and production to do. And as always, thank you very much for watching these videos. If you enjoy them, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And if you haven't already, get subscribed so you don't miss any videos. I've got pretty much every day new video coming out. I've got a big backlog, so don't worry. There's going to be plenty for quite a while to come until I run out of stuff to do in the game. But let's hope that comes uh, later rather than sooner. Well, that's all I got for right now. We'll see you next time.